So I mean, a tough night against a tough opponent. What's yeah. your sum up of the game tonight? Yeah, that's right. I thought we started really well, um, and they were aware of us trying to start fast because you know you, you could see that they were taking the time of throw-ins, trying to slow our pace down, and I thought we were really on the front foot. But um, but then you know we we damaged ourselves really. You know, with the errors, um, a few errors led to the, the, the goals. You know, and. Um, it was bitterly disappointing to be coming in, you know, and getting booed off at, you know, half time isn't great. Um, but I thought the players reacted well, second half, and although there was another error that led to the fourth goal, we, we played some good stuff, you know, and um, that's. People might go, well, it counts for nothing. Well, actually, you know, we, we didn't crumble. We, ca we carried on showing the same character as Saturday, and it didn't go for us tonight. But I um, said to the players, come on, you know, don't bruise too much, don't dwell on it. Um, there are lessons again against a good opposition. We've been punished uh, for errors, but um, we must move on. So it was a bright start um, to continue the recent form that we've had over the last week. And we got caught a little bit by a, by a sucker punch, and then you know before we knew it, really, it was two goals down. Um, what's the sort of, how, how does the team sort of react from that, from that sort of early setback? I think you've just got to confront, confront it, and we did at half time. You know, the, um, there was a lack of. Uh, seen the danger, you know, uh, first half where we didn't go out, go out. You know, Jack Tang was was beaten, but he's not a full back. So, you know, where are we? You know, in relation to the ball, you know, we we weren't anywhere really to to help the lad on that occasion, and and we've got to um, all move in relation to the ball as a back four and go and help him. Um, that was one, the one goal. Another goal was um, a back pass through through bodies that, you know, obviously suddenly you find yourself a couple of goals down and. Um, and then the third was when we didn't quite, you know, manage as a team to mentally just wipe the slate clean and go again. Uh, so unfortunately, we haven't found ourselves in that position for quite a long time. Coming in at three 0 down, um, you, you know that's that, and the booing comes hand in hand with coming three nil, three in three nil down. But I thought the, re the reaction of the players second half showed that um, you know the spirit of. Like I say, it's almost an impossible situation. Three 0 at half time. Work certainly cut out. Got the goal back through Lloyd Kerry. Ten minutes in, there's yeah, still plenty of time to mm. to get back in. As you say, a um, couple of half chances in the day might have been three two. Anything happens? Yeah, I thought there were good chances actually. You know, I mean, you know, we, we had great good moments where you know we've we've come open or got down the sides of them. I mean, the pace and energy, you could fear that. You could feel that the bit of fear factor in the um, first uh, 15, 20 minutes of the first half, and again when we went three one up. I thought they, they managed the game well at that time, and you know they're, they're flying high at the moment. And they're probably going to run away with the league. That I've already sort of said before the game, um, but I didn't think the gap was as big as the scoreline in the end. You know, I, I think we, we put up a good effort um, to no avail, but I don't think the confidence should take much of a blow. I think we've just got to show our strength as a group that we come back out fighting against Northampton. I say Northampton on Saturday, another difficult opponent. They're in a bit of a tough situation, you know, injuries, suspensions. What are the options? Where do we turn to in looking, looking ahead to that game? Yeah, well, I think we're in a, a great situation where we're seven points in Northampton in the second. Um, the league's very tight. We've got Lewis Page returning, Ryan Fallowfield potentially returning on Saturday, which strengthens the squad massively. And Rory McArdle's training on Thursday, so um, it'd be good to get that. You know that level of player and expertise back in the squad uh, to drive it, to drive the competition, but also to be able to rest a, a few weary bodies. And we've had a magnificent couple of weeks when we're depleted, and um, sooner or later, you know, the adrenaline runs out, and you've got tired limbs and tired minds, and probably that was the reason for, you know, uh, some of the decisions defensively. Uh, we're forgiven. They're a great group. We'll move on. Thanks, Gaffer. Appreciate that. Cheers.